what's up what's up what's up i'm pretty sure you guys are still in the post game show but i'm pretty sure y'all gonna be piling in just a few minutes this is our after show this is the show that we give our fans a chance to make their voices heard regarding this loss against the chargers so i'm just gonna give y'all a couple of seconds to go ahead and get yourself in come there on in. come on, come on in. in i see y'all a couple of people come on people come on just fall on in post game show is pretty much about to be over with this is for the fans you heard yep, us you the know, fans you heard part, talk about what the, they wanted to say the but go ahead. Show. Mm -hmm, definitely okay so yeah my twitch twitch, twitch is acting up okay Whatever. I just got a little pop up about. Where y'all at, people? Where y'all at? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Go ahead. If you're here, put a, you know, put a rise up. Whoever, whatever team you represent, put, you know, say what's up. We want to see who's here tonight. And we will be dropping that stream once everybody kind of get in and get settled. Um, Y'all going to join us tonight. Like I said before, I'm going to preach this. Today was embarrassing, Asia. I absolutely agree with you on that one. Um, and honestly, we're going to get into it. We're going to let everybody kind of get in. Got a couple of more folks starting to pile in. Y'all know, come on, come on in. We here. We here. Yep. Come on. Talk to us. This is the channel. Well, this part of the show where you get to <laughs> talk with us, speak your mind, get some stuff off your chest uh, yeah. after this game. I mean, it went it went really hours, well so. last week when we did this. Uh, we was kind of late then, but um, I mean, it was so many people just ready to say what they had to say off their chest. And, you know, what better way to do that, you know, on a night that like this? Yeah, sums up the Falcon season since um, losing the Super Bowl in Houston. I agree with that. I can agree with that. I mean, because um, I'm I can't point fingers at dirt cutter on this one i'm sorry i can't i mean of course you know everybody is responsible everybody be accountable for their actions but matt ryan had a bad game yeah he definitely i mean but veterans get bad games now doesn't mean that i'm gonna say you know trade him get rid of him of course you know that's a uh, cap hit you know i mean like let's be realistic here we ain't gonna just trade Matt Ryan, though. Know, this man's gonna be with us for a couple of more years, three, right? To be exact. But, um, I don't know. So, what's up, people? What's up, people? I hope y'all up in here, and I hope y'all ready to kind of get some things off your chest. But, um, J Rock, how do you feel? How do you feel? Uh, I feel all right. I mean. I doesn't really much to say. I mean, I kind of not really surprised. I mean, yeah. I mean, what else can you say? I mean, we're four, what, what, what four and ten now? Is it four and ten? I, you know, I lost four track nine. of how many. Yeah, four, four nine. nine. I'm lost track of how many times. And like I said, I didn't even go into this game optimistic. Um, they kept saying, "Oh, the Chargers, we the same team." But guess what? One team decided to execute a little bit better than the other team. You know. This is what it came down to it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, this is all on the Falcons. I mean, at the end of the day, I can't, you know, let's, oh, I got a whole notepad of things that went wrong, <laughs> but <laughs> we're going to get actually, this to the fans. <laughs> I actually was saying that it could be a high scoring game. I know I was thinking about that earlier this week, but wow, it came down to the why, which I was not expecting. And that's one thing. I was not uh, expecting that at all. I thought it was going to be straight shootout. Just, but uh, yeah, it was just a couple of things, a couple of miscues that did not go well for Matt today. So, mm -hmm. what's up, Asia? 2021, 22, and 23 are going to be rough years for the. Yeah, because um, we still got to worry about who's going to be the coach, you know, and contracts and all that. All the contracts, like, honestly. But I wouldn't say we're doomed. I wouldn't we're say nothing doomed. like that. We're not doomed because we do have talent, but exactly. we got to be very, 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 very careful on what we do next. That's that's really what the focus is, pretty much. Like, what do you do now? Because 
I feel like um, our organization, they definitely took some bad contract, you know, they, just bad contract decisions, and it's going to bite us in the ass at this point. That's just how I feel about it, you know. So now we got to dig ourselves out a little bit and try to do what we can with what we have because we really can't make a lot of a lot of moves like everybody else requesting, you know, get rid yeah. of this and get rid of that. You know, let's realistically not going to happen. You yeah, guys, we what we got, for yeah, now until, yeah, you know, otherwise, you're absolutely right. So, um if y'all with us, I was trying to make sure the post game kind of go over it. I think they still on there just talking it up. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, <real>. right. <laughs> to be real. So um, let me go ahead and make sure we are streamed everywhere. And then we'll go ahead and get the link in. Who's out here? Go ahead. I see a couple of more faces. And I hey, in case if some of you all don't know, we are on Twitch now. Mm-hmm. Well, so. maybe. Because I keep seeing this pop up about Twitch. I don't know what's going on with this today. <laughs> but, but we, we are, are on J Rock Twitch. Make sure y'all follow that. We on J Rock's Twitch. Make sure y'all follow him on there. That yeah, you know, right. it's Twitch. not just Atlanta Falcons content. You know, he's a gamer. So if you guys love to play, y'all go ahead. He stream um what Monday through Thursday, um, mainly in the evening. So like just go ahead and subscribe to his. He'll probably drop his um, you know, information in the chat. Go Falcons. Yeah, go Falcons. But hey, Falcons did not rise up this particular game. So if y'all ready, let's go. Let's go. Who's ready to get in these comments? Yeah, and let's get this. Let's get this flowing. What y'all think? Just say anything. Like, don't be too crazy. Just tell us what you think about overall the game and the rest of these uh few games that we have left in the season. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna go what ahead and put think? that link. Um or be respectful because I will jump you, you know, I will take you off the stream. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is just honest. You know, I want you guys to give me your opinions. So let's go. Let's go. Link is in the chat. Who are we going to have on? Let's go. Who you here? Let's go, Hank. You coming on. <laughs> but yeah, that was just, I'm speechless at this point. Like, what more do you look forward to? Like, it seems like everything is, if Julio Jones is out the game. We have no answer. It's like, don't have no answer. we don't game plan enough when he's not on the field. I mean, I get it. Yeah, we have Ridley, but this is like, it It, it shows. When Julio's on the field, mm -hmm. it, he brings out so much attention that it opens it, it opens the offense up. Yes. And other receivers or whoever can get the ball as well. So him not being in the games, it's it's showing. And I can say that need uh, Julio on the field, like even when he's hurt, mm -hmm. he could just be a decoy. As long as he's on the field, blocking or running or whatever, he's on the field and people are watching him. So oh, without yeah. him being on the field, like his presence, we're 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 literally just nothing. Yeah, and then Ridley, he's just number two. Um, you know, I mean, I've said this before. I don't know what show it was or whatever, but Ridley, he 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 needs a little bit more work. He, look at Nicole. Look, look, look at Nicole. Go, <laughs> whatever, Nicole. You watching? <laughs> I guess y'all won tonight. Okay, you can go ahead and get your little happy dance on. But guess what? Y'all still suck. So. <laughs> <laughs> get your get your laugh in, whatever. Saints, Falcons, we lost. We lost. Cowboys winning. That's something. That's just that's 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 a damn. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> yeah, we, we have nothing to say about that. So the Falcons have officially been look. I wasn't even playoffs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we weren't even thinking about no damn playoffs. I mean, I, I get, I get it. You guys have some hope. But I wasn't even thinking about playoffs. We're we're not playoff ready right now at all. I see Rodney Lopez said there's always next year. Mm. We, will we always say rise how up. How many times? How many times have we? And look, link is in the chat, people. This is your opportunity. Everybody been hitting us about getting their voices heard. I know y'all still probably in this post game. So come on. Like I said, we'll we'll you know we'll sit here for a minute. I know y'all probably was on that crazy heated post game. 
But you got to you got to understand us Falcons fans. We are highly. We're upset. We're frustrated. We are fed up. At this point, um, I mean, it's really no excuse for what's going on right about now. And honestly, the truth is in the matter. Uh, I agree with you, Paul. Um, Got to change the culture, which means coaching has to go. Definitely. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like Matt Ryan need to be, you know, doing no huddles, hurry up offense. But you saw how Matt Ryan was on the sideline. He was pissed off, you guys. And, I, and that's why I was just talking to Jay Rock about. I think Matt Ryan is kind of over it at this point, you know. And, yeah, and we've been bamboozled many times. We all sold. We we sold like everything. Once we heard Dan Quinn was going to be a coach, we 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 got so sucked into that. Yeah, and then oh, he's defense guru. Like no, 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 this no. this and now we no, like no, oh no. yeah, man. And then you know he brings in you know mm-hmm. Kyle Shanahan, and then we have that one bad season. And he comes back takes us to the Super Bowl. We just have not recovered ever since then. And then from there, it's all been a joke. We've been sucked in into a big old lie. Yeah, and that's why well, I, I think- said uh, I'm not even sold on, you know, everybody throwing these, you know, who needs to be the coach and who needs to be your OC and all that because, you know, especially for a coach that's never even, you know, started as, you know, has been a coach. He, he's got to contend for this job. And it's like we've seen, our, you know, what happens when somebody is really not making those plays or somebody is really not, you know, you can see what happens. Yes, you might have came from a great team or you might have been kind of in the conversation for draft picks and things like that. But when it comes down to coaching a team, yep. there is a huge disconnect on that because you didn't really have much of a say. So you're just there with your clipboard. Yeah you know, listening to someone else run it. <laughs> right, right, right. So, I mean, is is this time to just hit the reset button for now? I mean, we're just going to rock with the guys that we got. Just go ahead and wipe out the whole coaching staff. I mean, it's clear that Derek Cutter didn't really – I mean, even though I did see different stuff today, but it's just not we, – we, Matt Ryan should not be throwing as much as he should. Right now, he's, I think he's throwing a little too much, to be honest with you. I get Derek Cutter is a pass-heavy offensive corner, but my thing is that's bothering me about Derek Cutter. He's been here before. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Went, that's 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 really my issue there. Like, like with this nothing change, bro. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. we have new – we may have, like, a couple of new weapons, but when you left, we still had Julio Jones. He's still here. Like whatever you was doing over there in the Bucks, that's leave that behind. Mm-hmm. Like you got a you're back on the Falcons, back where we went to the NFC Championship and all that. Like you had our offense rolling. You know how Matt Ryan goes. So why not do the no huddle? Like why would you? That's what made Matt Ryan Matt Ryan. That's what made him Matty Ice. Mm-hmm. Why would you take take that his best trait? out of him like you don't run it enough that that's what it is we don't run en- enough no huddle that's what it is yeah i absolutely agree um and i i grew i mean look matt look i am not on the you know matt train tonight because no i mean matt he had a bad game through back to back picks mm-hmm. yeah definitely um I just seen a lot of mistakes that was going on, but at the same time on the sideline, seeing his frustration, I can, I can understand it though. Like, you know, we, why we expected more with the old book staff <laughs> beats me. <laughs> yeah. Like the, like a case of you guys don't know, like I, th- I believe today, uh, Matt Ryan surpassed Peyton Manning in passing yards through, you know, the first 13 seasons, despite that, yeah, Matt Ryan probably played his worst game, one of his worst games of his career. Yeah. So he he you know he threw two late interceptions, you know, that basically wind down to the end. And yeah, you can see the frustration on his face. Yeah. But I think I think now uh, the offense is a big problem. Now I, I wouldn't really. 
pinpoint anything on the defense. I wouldn't take anything away from the defense. I think the defense has proved themselves ever since Raheem Morris took over. Uh, it's just I think now the offense is a problem, especially when Julio Jones is down the field. Yeah, yeah. And, well, I mean, I don't, I don't even see Todd Gurley even. I th- doubt he's going to get any type of, you know, extension. I just so. wish that he was – with a better offensive coordinator that actually knows how to use him. Yeah. Because he's not a bad running back. Yeah, he might have his issues. Some people may think he's burnt out because, you know, the way uh, L.A. has overused him, you know, since drafting him. I think he still has a lot of left in the tank. It's just the only thing that's keeping him away from being his full potential is that injury, of course. Mm-hmm. So, what do you think? I'm gonna ask this question. You think that um they just need to just go ahead and sit out our starters at this point? Of course, we're we're not even contending playoffs, you know that. <laughs> we're I, not think even contending. Should, I think they should have been done that. I think I said that last week. Yeah, there's no point of playing our playing our players right now. Like seriously, like Julio's battling a hamstring. Yeah, uh, you got a couple of people. Marlon Davidson just went down in the third quarter. Yeah. Um, you just gotta. Yeah, that that the injury report is kind of just piling it's on up. Piling up, we and some of the people are not really injured. This is like, it, like, where? Why are they on the injury report and they're not really injured? Like, yeah, oh I'm yeah, looking, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. I'm looking at the you know personal reasons, <laughs> right? Yeah, personal reasons or whatever. Like, I'm watching you know the Atlanta Falcons, you know them like going off to L.A. Like people that's you know they get on the plane. Like I seen. Uh, uh, Quadre get on the plane. I'm like, what is he going on the plane to LA for? He's not playing. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what's what's the issue with that. I mean, there's a couple of people that's it's this, this season is just, is is a big loss. It's just it's just crazy. <sighs> Put I'm, Pink I'm... Kurt in already. Let the man get some tape. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't look. We, I would just say, just sit. You know, just sit people down. No, no need to force it, you know, really. But I already know how it's going to go, really. This could either hurt or, you know, do us well with this upcoming draft coming up. I don't know where our placement is going to be, mm-hmm. but Come on, let's see how this goes. Be afraid. be afraid. I'm putting the chat in there. I don't know if anybody just not realizing I am definitely putting the chat. If you want to join us, you definitely can at this link. Now, if you have a headset, um, Bluetooth headphones or anything like that. Just sometimes the audio is off, so just you may have to go without it. But have, if you don't even have to look, how about this? I think I made this announcement last time. You don't have to come on camera. You can um, stop your camera, so people don't even have to see your face. You can just speak your voice. It was quite a few that came on last um, week that came in and gave their opinions, but they didn't show your face. So that's what's stopping you from joining us tonight. Don't worry, you know, we don't you don't even have to you can do an alias, yeah. whatever. You don't even have you don't to, have to be on camera at all. Just come and talk, you know. Just come and talk. We know I know you guys are frustrated at this point. Um, but we want to hear from you. This is yeah, I've been asking. This is this is for you. This is for you. So let's go, let's go. But I'm you know, I'm loving the comments though. What's going on? Let's see what else we got in here. Um why we what he say why we expected more with the old buck staff yeah i had saw that a little earlier yeah (laughs) (laughs) god damn yeah put banker in is is already let the man get some tape on his resume you know you know that as well like we definitely have a lot of players on the roster that was like we haven't seen them. Like, what I mean, what play them is the best time to play them now. I mean, we like I said, we already didn't have a preseason. I mean, hey, let's let's see something. Let's see, let's see what you know. I guess some people are playing the starters are playing for like their contracts maybe next year, mm-hmm. but we we seen you know, like for example, like Keanu Neal. I think Keanu Neal proved himself, give him, give him his money. You know what I'm saying? It's a couple of those people that's like, okay, they're, they're worth staying. But there's some other people that we haven't seen. Well, shout out to Russell Gage, though. You know you know what I'm saying? Like- Definitely, yeah. One thing I do like about this year, like our some of our wide receivers have stepped up, especially when Julio hasn't been on the field or whether it's Ridley. Like, you know what I'm saying? The rotation of wide receivers is actually not that bad. Mm-hmm. It's just, you know, they're young. They're trying to figure it out. 
So Absolutely. this is the first time we're actually seeing him this season. So it's a little, a little different. And then you, that part where the uh, fullback lined up wide, though, what was up with that, though? Like- oh, wow, I don't know. But <laughs> I, what I do want to see more is if if y'all think Todd Gurley is not going to get one yard, put in the fullback or something. Don't put Ito in up the middle. Give it, give it to Smith. Just have him run. Up. That's what he's doing. Like, what do we have a fullback for? Really? Like, have him do what the fullback does. I mean, get the one yard. Anybody can get the one yard. If, if y'all really don't have faith in the other running backs on the rosters besides Todd Gurley, like hmm. if he's not able to come in at all, just put in Keith Smith. Let him get the one yard. Yeah. Easy, simple. So I like when I saw that. I was like, why won't we just, you know, do something different. Like I saw Russell Gage being in there, you know, throwing the ball. I mean, okay, that's cool. You know, their yep. cutters actually kind of spreading around a little bit. So I, I, the offense was a little bit different, but it's just like, okay, you still got away from the running game a little bit, even though we did have a bunch of carries today, but you just got to, it still looks stale to me. The offense still looks stale. What's good? What's good? I guess it's one of yours because I know it's not. Well, maybe it's acting right now. I guess it's acting right on AFN. All right. We got somebody that is on. I was waiting on y'all. Okay. So we got, uh, we're going to go ahead and let Nicholas Turner come on in and kind of just speak his piece. Well, this is what we've been waiting on. Like, look, this is for you guys. Don't be afraid. Hide your camera. But we're going to bring somebody on. So let's go ahead, Nick. You ready? Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're going to bring Ooh. him on screen. <laughs> what's up can you, you guys doing? hear me yes, yeah hear okay i'm good i'm good uh you know like 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 it is the season's up and down roller coaster you know um there's some good points in the game some bad you know like it's just it, <laughs> it's a lot to handle you know what i mean so uh watching it you see like dirk is uh his game plan to me is just I don't know if it's matchup, if it's scheme, but it it's seems everything. like we get a, like a, a good ball rolling on the first and second quarter, and then like third and fourth, it's like, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. You know the, that that deep that that uh, that deep route with Ridley in the deep coverage when he had safety in the cornerback, it didn't make no sense. <laughs> you know, yeah. don't, don't say he don't right. need a, he don't need a job. Um, with the Falcons next year. I mean, if, if that happens, I'm I, like, I'm just throwing the whole team away. It's like, if he, yeah. I, I, you got to kind of point the finger at off the blank just a little bit. He kind of hold on to guys a little longer than he honestly should. Cause honestly, yeah. um, Dan Quinn, honestly, he should have been all of them, you know, all of them should have been really kind of out the door. But go ahead, go ahead. I don't want to over talk you. <laughs> no, no, you're good. You're good. And just like you see how how different the defense was when it changed up. When we put Jeff Oberk in, it was a, a different kind of swag, a different kind of energy. Um, I think that'd be the same thing for the offense. You know, once we get uh, everything lined up, I, they just play. They play better. You know what I mean? Like they just. Uh, you could tell Matt is tired of yes. the play calling. He's tired of. Maggie yes. T just said um, it. Yeah, he was pissed. Like he was throwing <laughs> helmets. He was just like, you know, and you can, yeah. you can see that frustration. So it's like, yes, Matt had a bad game. You know, all people, you know, people have bad games. But this is not a let's throw him out the window. Let's get rid of him. Yeah. He's frustrated. He's mad. I mean, yeah. yes, you gonna make terrible he, mistakes when you ain't really of those, in, he in had his a head. Of those uh, stairs too. Like uh, I, I forgot what play it was, but. It was a play where we were, I don't I don't know why we're at the one yard line. I believe it happened in our opening drive too. But you you're at the all you need was one yard. It was third and one, but you wanted to pass the ball. All right, once again, here I go. We, we should do what Todd Gurley up the middle or even Smith up the middle. Like, what, why do we have a fullback for? So I remember exactly. it was a play. Uh, I think it was in the second quarter or third quarter. It was a play where it was third and one. I believe Todd Gurley was in the game, and he did like a little hitch route. Mm-hmm. And I think I, – I don't know what was going on with that play, but Matt Ryan just threw it to the ground. That was when the intentional grounding happened. And he looked yeah. at the camera and was just like, like, what happened to that play? Like, 
You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like you can tell, like his stares, like in the camera, like he just looks like. But this is what I was talking yeah. about as far as like Dirk Cutter need to come out on the field. Like forget the booth. Yeah. Come out the booth. You need to come down on the field. <laughs> but I don't know if it's like a he's scared of confrontation type thing, but he needs to get on field with with the rest of the, you know, the coach and staff. Oh, well, I see this post right here. I think Matt Ryan um, purposely throws interceptions just to get out of. Mm, I absolutely, no, I, don't, I don't agree with that one. Yeah. I don't agree with that one. Um, it's not purposely. It's just, it is what it is. You know, like well, you know, some, in the last fifteen years now. It seems like sometimes. Um, well, the corners did a great job of jumping the routes, man. Like you can see the. They did a lot of game study on Matt Ryan and how he throws the ball. So, like, especially that one interception at the uh, before the end of the game in the fourth quarter, uh, that that dude he seen the out route coming and he just jumped it perfect. He timed it perfectly. He seen how Matt's about to throw. He seen how he set it up and he just jumped the route. So you can't even blame Matt on that. After he threw it, Matt seen it and he was like, "Damn, I messed up." You can tell. Yeah. But when he threw it, he's like, "Oh, I'm about to get that," you know. And you can't yeah. game plan against that, you know. It just happened. Exactly, yeah. Cool. So it's like if the defense makes a good play on the ball, I mean, they make a good play on the balls. That's the way of the, that's the way the sports, man. That's how it goes. I see our it's numbers are going read. up. So I guess everybody leaving that post game show coming on over to the after show with me and Jay Rock. What's going on, people? Let's go ahead. Like, I'm going to drop the link because it's quite a few more. Yeah, people. come join. Come join. Come join. But hey, um, Nicholas, you know, anything else you want to add? Oh man, uh, just one more thing, man. I like the way Russell Gage is getting more involved. Uh, yes, I like what I seen from Laquan Treadwell. You know, he had had the little uh, that little sitting route right there for the touchdown in the red zone. I think they should oh, put yeah. him more in the offense. It was a surprise. Mm-hmm. But yes, yeah, thank it was. you. Thank you. Thank, <laughs> oh, yeah, thank you. Appreciate you. I'm gonna put this link in the I chat. Appreciate you guys. First bold one to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Salute. They comment. I just yeah, I show face now. You know. Yeah. Thank you guys. Hey. We appreciate it, man. AFN. AFN's where it's at, man. Everybody needs hey, to subscribe. Hey. Please subscribe. You know, we we just want to give the voice to the fans too. Like we're fans as well. Like we've never said we were experts, so we have differences, of opinions, and things like that. Sometimes you might not agree with what one person says, but guess what? We're all fans at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Nicholas. But you know what I'm saying? So don't hold somebody's word to, you know, like, oh, yeah, this person is just, you know, look, we are all fans. Yeah, this is everybody's opinion. Everybody gets to, everybody got their mind of their own. They speak it. Hey, I mean, Nicholas did kill it, but it's open for other guests. Come on. It's it's just not him. We're definitely looking for you, but we got, um, in. I see somebody in the chat. Y'all wave your hands, um, K Styles and Matt Mike. Are y'all trying to jump on or are you in the background? You, hey, okay, come we, on got, in. we got the after show. Going. The after show. We got the after show. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> come on, guys. Come on, guys. Get what's up, what's here. up? What's up? If y'all want, the link is in there. If you want to jump on, we're opening to you. We got the after show going on. Uh, we want to hear your frustrations. My first friend is on the camera already. You see oh. me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if your voice I'll... is great, oh, okay, I get it. You, you going? You on the weather a little bit? Okay, I get it. But we're highlighting your comments. Maybe next week. We're gonna be doing this every week. Mm. Every week. Hopefully, it's a win. But uh, you know, at this point, you know, just nah, just, it just let it win. go. It is let it go. Yeah. It's over with. It's, uh, if my as long voice as Dirk is, is on this team, it won't be. A, it won't be a, <laughs> I can guarantee you that. That's something that man might can. Yeah, just, just, I'm, I'm at this point. We gotta just, we're saying the same stuff over and over. I heard J Rock. I heard, I heard everything, man. I, I heard everything you said, man. I, I, I sicken that emotion. All right, I'm about to get my damn. About to get my Smokey Robinson on. Hell, I need something to smoke right now after that damn game. Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell are you telling? Uh, them man, that man, them them dudes was sitting. Them dudes was sitting on routes, and everybody pointing the finger at one particular person. Just like, come on, man, we got to stop. I know, everybody, I know, it's time. 
inning. I know his time inning. All right, he, he's going to be gone in the next two or three years. All right, we all know that Matt Ryan ain't going to be here. All right, in the next three years, by, by three years, I get three years. You're probably saying Matt Ryan, but after that third year, you're not going to be, you're not going to be saying Matt Ryan. All right, I get it. I see but, a question about Jesus who Christ. will we take in the first round. Um, it, it, won't it's be not going to be a quarterback. I'm, I'm gonna tell just going to go ahead and right give now. you that. It won't be a quarterback. It's not going to be a quarterback. <laughs> after after literally watching this game today, is I can I can guarantee you it is not a quarterback. Oh, we got years. ATL. We got um um he was on last week and he had some good points. Uh -oh. So we got somebody that wanted to join. But let me um ATM let the other two guys um do y'all had anything else to add before we join um it's, ATL? Uh, that's it. I'm gonna be in the back. Y'all already know how I did, but I, I had to get it, get here and say that. Um, I'm just tired. I'm just tired. I'm just tired of looking at this offense do the exact same things every week and exactly stale. absolutely stale. Stale. Yeah. And that's why Matt Ryan throws. And this, this like Matt Ryan is not exempt from horrible play calling. And that's that's essentially what you know what got us where we are. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you see your boy um, Edo Smith having a good game, and then we just stop giving the ball to Edo Smith. Like, why are we doing this? Why are we doing this again? <laughs> so it is what it is, man. Um, I want to know what you guys – I'm going to be in the back, um, but let me know what you guys think about this. ATM, K-Style, what you got, man? Yeah, K-Style. I'm going to go um, ATM on while Matt Mike is jumping off. Um, ATM, go ahead and get you up on here. Too, ATM. Going on ATM. Uh, go ahead, uh, K Styles. Oh, I'm about to say I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm say ching the ATM over here. Let him <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, ATM. <laughs> what you got? What you got, homie? I got one question, and I'm kind of surprised that y'all didn't point it out. But why? In the, it's two things I noticed. Why, after we converted past the 50, we had a timeout left, I believe. Why didn't we keep running the ball? And then after oh, yeah. Matt Ryan threw the pick, why didn't Raheem Morris ice the kicker? We had a timeout left. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> ATM, um, you watch all the shows, right? I, I, yeah. I, okay. When we talk about the farmer friend playbook, you mm -hmm. remember that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it, it is a lifestyle because <laughs> one thing, if you're in field goal, and like I said, I agree with a lot of people will say, if you're in field goal range, you don't need to throw the ball at all. Exactly. That should have been in a situation where they would throw. If you had one timeout left, you didn't have to throw that out route and throw that pick. Yep. Like we said, Matt Ryan threw some bad balls today. Right. He did. He, he did. Hey, look, he did. He threw some terrible balls today, and I counted about six of them. But this real breaking news right here, you guys. Breaking news the Las Vegas Raiders just fired their offensive coordinator, Paul Gunther. Now, what's wrong with that statement? It should be the Loud Falcons firing dirt cutter as the news. <laughs> You're right, though. Yeah, he, you definitely right. Yeah. Farmer Fran be serving mm -hmm. the blank them Louisiana frog cakes. I don't know if y'all remember them frog cakes. <laughs> we can't let Raheem Morris off the hook, too, because nah. I see some of the Falcons fans letting him off the hook. He blew it. I'm not saying that the kicker wouldn't have made it, but why don't you ice the kicker? It'd be the, the smallest things that Raheem Morris don't do. Just like in the exactly. league. Like, why did you call? Why did you make that challenge? Kenny Galladay literally called it. It was clear as day. And then you don't bring out the nail information like Raheem got to go too. Yep, yeah. whole staff done. The whole yeah. staff is absolutely done. That whole staff is dumpster juice right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everybody, oh, Raheem Morris, huh? Nah, bruh. Raheem see, ain't staying either. See, see we have to look at it from this standpoint. Like I said, the head coach, we can blame just Dirt Cutter. We can blame Matt Ryan. We can blame everybody. But at the end of the day, as the head coach, you have to take the brunt of it because you are the overseer of the operation. Get That's out the fucking booth. 
No, Dirk Cutter's ass need to get out. If he gets out the booth, he gonna get stomped out by somebody. He ain't getting out the booth. He seen the movie. Yeah. Before. He ain't getting out there anytime soon. Yeah, nah, he been get stomped the hell out by somebody. Some found say I stomped his ass out. Yeah, but see, my thing is this: people want to say that Matt Ryan is sorry and that Todd Gurley is sorry. If that's the case. Explain to me why last year in the red zone, and this is touchdowns only, Dirt Cutter went from 23 to this year he's ranked 29th. Because he and y'all know how many times we run the ball? We are literally in the bottom half of the league. And as far as the red zone, you know who's worse than us? The Giants, the Jets, and the Cowboys. I'm saying. You just basically just said everything right there, man. Mm-hmm. Like yep. said, 20, 29th in the league in touchdown percentage in the red zone is not going to beat elite teams. And You're not the, crazy thing right. is, the crazy thing is, despite that, Todd Gurley is still, I think he's he's top five in broken tackles and he's top ten in um rushing touchdowns. Yeah, uh, Jay Rock said it earlier. You said just kind of use him right, you know. Yeah, you just gotta use him right. I, I'm gonna I'm say I'm gonna say this one final thing as far as like how the running game has been this season and how it goes. Yeah, Todd Gurley may not seem to be 100, percent but it's still Todd Gurley. So I think having him mixed in with the offense, and if he's used correctly, he can be really, really good. I, like I said, the only thing that's holding Todd Gurley back. Is his injuries. That's it. That's the yeah. only thing that's aching him right now. But honestly, I wouldn't really put a blame on Todd Gurley. I know a lot of people say, oh, Todd Gurley's washed. No, I think he has uh, enough in the tank. It's just right. he's got to use him right. And I get it. I mean, like, like I say this all the time, I know a lot of people think that, oh, he's burnt out because of how L.A. used him ever since he was drafted. If he's so burnt out, I believe – before we got him last, well, last year when he was with LA, his last season, he still put up what nine hundred or eight hundred something yards and a lot of TDs. He still has a lot left in the tank. You just got to use him right. That's it. And Dirt does not know how to use him right, and that's clear as day because he's not a running offensive coordinator. He's a pass heavy. That's what I was like. I feel like Matt Ryan is throwing a little bit too much. He does not need to be throwing that much. It should be a balance. Our team, our best teams that we had in the previous years, <laughs> always had a balanced offense, a good running game, a good passing game. But for some reason, this season with Cutter, second season with Cutter, just has not figured it out. And like I said, Cutter has been here before, so I don't know what's going on. Well, hold on, hold on. I about to say before you get that. Oh yeah, Anthony Rice said. Dirt Cutter will wake up in the morning screaming with a horse head covered with blood in his bed. He would then pack his bag ups and disappear. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. That's I know he got to feel the pressure, though. I, I feel, I know he got to feel that pressure because I'm pretty sure the headlines are all over the place with fire, fire, fire. Yeah, fire it, start, it starts with Carter. Like, uh, to be honest with you, our, we haven't had a good running game to almost about three, three to four years. We haven't good, had a good running game. And see, and J Rock to piggyback off your point, and I know K Styles love to bring up the stats. I'm not sure if y'all know this, but I believe, and, and this is why I believe either Gary Kubiak or Arthur Smith would be the best offensive coordinator for this team. Because if you look at the Russian play percentage, Tennessee is number four in the league at 48%. Minnesota is number six at 48% too. And red zone scoring, Tennessee is number four. Minnesota is number three. Total offense, Tennessee number four. Minnesota number three. And then points per game, Tennessee is number three at 29.9, whereas Minnesota is number 12 at 26.6 points per game. Oh, hey! But, but you, the main thing is you said the right thing. What's the what well, what what is the common thing with those two teams? They are both run balanced teams, and they are creative as well. Exactly. Yeah. Well, well, Tennessee, you got Thanos running the ball, so that's automatic. <laughs> that, 
That's, 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 that's Bo Jackson from Tetmo Super Bowl right now. That's Derrick yeah. Henry. Yeah. <laughs> King, King Henry's. But, yeah, so, like, our offense should be just like that. Like, I think Todd Gurley should set the tone like he did on the second drive. I think that's how you're supposed to use Todd Gurley. We kept giving the ball to Todd Gurley, dumping it. You know, he ran a couple of yards, not a whole lot. Got his five yards and all that, but it's like you got to use him like that if we want to set the tone. Like, we have to set the tone with Todd Gurley, not our receivers all the time. Like I said, we don't want Matt Ryan throwing the ball 40 to 50 damn times. We don't need him doing that. Yeah, because yeah. even this game, even this game, Matt Ryan only threw the ball 32 times, but it was at the situations where he threw the ball that's where it kind of stood apart. But like yeah. I said, even if it was the 45 and 50 that like most quarterbacks do not win by throwing those balls, you have to look at the situation. Like you said, you had to think you had a third and one, you throwing play action passes, you got some shit you don't even need to do. You yeah, throw, it like, like I said, it's just it's just bad all over. And like you said, Arthur Smith and them. And like I said, Gary, we have to remember Gary Kubiak came from that Mike Shanahan era when they was all running and it was thrown and when it was a West Coast offense, too. Dirk, oh, we what? have somebody, we have somebody in the chat as well. What you got? We got, uh, I'm gonna bring them on as well. Um, ATM, I guess you hanging with us. <laughs> That's all right. But we're gonna go ahead and bring in another one, Bucks. Okay. How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good, man. How about you guys? Pretty good. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, guys. I'm just you guys let book fans in here. No, hey, no. I mean it's it's open to any fan that want to speak their feet piece on the Atlanta Falcons. So uh, we got who that's in the chat. I'm seeing them. So yeah. it's open to anybody that kind of have an opinion on what's going on in Atlanta Falcons uh, franchise man, right about now. I think you guys team should be better than this. As a Bucks fan, you guys seem to be a playoff team right now. Absolutely, I think so. How about you and your Bucks? How you feel about what's going on with them? The guys, got you next too. We we okay. We can talk about it. What you guys think about the mat? Let's, let's talk about the matchups. What you guys think about the matchups? At this point, I don't know what to think about the matchups. I, I don't know what team we're gonna have on the field. Um, any given Sunday at this point. Exactly. You guys says the Bucks are favored by four points. Only four at, at, at Atlanta. That's crazy. You guys, <laughs> you, guys, you guys get to play Tom Brady tonight. Well, we already said our opinions on Tom Brady, though. So <laughs> I wasn't here. What would you guys say? Oh. <laughs> he's basically, you know, I don't feel like he's a threat. At this point, but, well, the, but the Falcons can, they can, they beat themselves at the same time, like you know. So, like I said, I don't know. I honestly don't know where to go with how yeah. this match is going to be because as we a, definitely I mean, a lot of games we could have won. As a Bucks fan, we should have man. There's a lot of games. I'm upset we lost to the Saints twice. I'm happy the Saints lost today. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh-huh. Somebody had to see it. Yeah. Yeah, the Saints had play um, like trash. Um, the Tampa height train is coming to Atlanta. Hey guys, they go lose again next week too. They can lose. They can lose to KC. It's over for them, man. We might take that division this year. Uh-huh. Oh, that's that's a stretch. That's definitely a stretch. It's, it's yep. possible because it's because because the Saints got a harder schedule than the, uh, the NFC South. They got the. The Vikings didn't like, and they got Carolina to finish up the season. And I agree, Asia. We are not consistent. So, yeah, man, what's we'll up with the Cowboys? You guys should have beat the Cowboys. No ifs or buts. Nothing. That was our downfall. After that loss, it was just like the Seahawks. <laughs> <laughs> should have been fired after that Cowboys game. I don't even know why Me too. That. That's the same exact thing. He should have been fired. <laughs> but but after that Cowboy game, I became a wino after that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys oh, Randy right. Morris, you guys I was a wino that day. Is Randy Morris, you think Randy Morris can be the next head coach you guys next, next year? No. 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 
No. Hell. Uh, I don't think he will be. Dirt Cutter, Cutter, all of them. All of, yeah, everyone is, well, 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 offensive side. Yeah. How about Dirt Cutter? You want him going too? Heck. Oh, that's a no yeah, brainer. Yeah, that's, that's a no brainer right there. It's See, over not, for him. See, he's on the Bobby Petrino side of the game right now. <laughs> <laughs> you show him his playbook again. <laughs> <laughs> Man, nobody you know what, where that playbook at? Hold I was on. happy when the Bucks fired him, Derek Cutter. I was happy when the Bucks fired him. He came back to Atlanta for some for some reason. I don't. That's what I said. That's why I said Arthur Blank kind of holds on and loves on some so you know you know yeah. quite a few you know sometimes he don't know how to let go. He's too friendly. So but Dirk Cutter uh, was like, it. "Hey, big head, can I get back on the team? You know what? <laughs> Come on, no one. I won't be surprised. The big head. I yes, I won't be surprised if making head coach. Maggie, the Maggie T playbook, y'all. Here you go. <laughs> hey, like I said, remember, remember, Dirk Cutter doesn't use the Maggie no. T part of the playbook. No. He just used the Anderson side. You see <laughs> and, and he just flipped it. Y'all know how Smokey flipped his money over? He just exactly. flipped it just like that. Look, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. <laughs> I had to bring that one out. Hello? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hello. I don't know what happened there for a minute. Oh, you didn't know? We were still talking. We could hear you, but we just had a picture on the screen. Oh, okay. <laughs> Unless your connection kind of went in and out. Sometimes you're on the internet. If you're on Wi-Fi, it could, you know, the stream could go in and out for you. So. Oh, okay. Hey, I'm going to correct the real Terrence on this one. He said the last time we had a good running game is when we had Mike Nolan as our offensive coordinator and running, and running back Michael Turner. Uh, you do know Mike Nolan is a defensive coordinator, not an offensive coordinator. Yep. Man, Todd Gurley, he should be good with the Falcons, man. Do you think the Falcons can go to rebuild his offseason? Would Hilly Jones be on trading block? Matt Ryan gone? What do you guys think? No. As the Falcons fans. No. I think, as you guys, as you guys. Yeah, I think Todd Gurley's gone after this year. Well, yeah, Todd yeah. Gurley, but not Julio or Matt Ryan. Julio, yeah, they're, they're staying. As much as I want Todd Gurley to stay, because I feel like if we get the right offensive coordinator that knows how to utilize him, then – yeah, but I think he's going after this. Mm-hmm. But do you think any team will be willing to pay him a lot of money, though? You'd be surprised. He might send him to the Bucs. Play, play Tom Brady. I won't be surprised. The Tampa Bay. You, you'll, be, you'll be real surprised. If, if Tampa Bay can sign Leonard Fournette, and, you know, he's an injury-prone type running back. I mean, he's good. He got potential. But – uh, yeah, I have to feel like any sign Todd Gurley. I think Rojo is our guy. Rojo. Really? You think? Are you sold on him? Or like you 100 percent sold? As a Bucks fan, uh, it's, a little, it's, it's a little, a little iffy. It's iffy. It's iffy in times. Okay, okay. A little confidence I hear in your voice. Okay, they still uh, suck though. I mean, you know, it's just it's still a rival, so. I know. <laughs> but look at that. The Bucks have been in the playoffs in 13 years. This is a long time. 13 years is a long time. It is. It is. See, I ain't got nothing bad to say about no Bucks fans. It's normally them, the Mains fans I be talking. I, 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 I'm cool with everybody else in the division, but the Ains. I can't. Nope. Me too. I can't That's stand true. the Ains. <laughs> Carolina. I'm, I think Carolina are probably the nicest fans yes. as far as I've met. Carolina fans. I've been to the Atlanta New Stadium when it first opened up. I've been to Atlanta New Stadium. Mm-hmm. It's nice. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it's wonderful. And with, before COVID, I mean, we used to all get together, and um, I actually went to um, the Panther Stadium um, when I used to travel for games and things like that. Like I, like he said, it's you know, there's real good fan bases out there that really open arms. I mean, I was I didn't even have to buy nothing. I was eating and drinking and having a good time with you know different fans like doing these tailgates and things like that. So I could party with you guys. It's just when it comes down to, you know, who's going to win this division, you know, that's when it gets real. But other than that, I can shoot. I can party with you guys any day of the week. You know, Man. you just an enemy just, that game. We play you. <laughs> I know. I know it's NFC Self Hate Week. I know, I know everyone makes that rival week. And NFC Self Hate Week. Oh, well, know. let's get let's get ready. Let's get ready because it's coming now. <laughs> yeah, we we playing you guys next, so mm-hmm. it should be interesting. Man, have fun guarding the Bucks offense. Oh. Hey, hey, oh, here, here's one thing. I was just getting ready to get into that. This is 
I think this game here against the Chargers with all those weapons, I think this was a test. Yeah, you guys probably got more firepower with A.B. and Mike Evans and Godwin. Man. Do you guys play? Did you guys play KC this week? Did you guys play KC yet? I think I think we're gonna be I think we're gonna be ready for y'all. Man, the Bucks just like they should get Tom Brady over with the receivers too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, the only thing that about the Buccaneers that I see that's kind of like the iffy part about it is. Y'all got so many people on that offense that it kind of fucks the flow up. Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. I, I I really didn't want AB at first. First, I didn't want AB. A lot of people didn't. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, your coach didn't even want him. And look, <laughs> he did it on purpose because he got him anyway. Mm-hmm. Someone said we're gonna get demolished by KC. <laughs> what do you think the Bucks and the Falcons are gonna split? What it might be, it might split. I think it might be a split. I, I don't know. Ain't no, ain't no telling. It, it's no telling at this point. It's kind of just up in the air. It's like I, if, a, if a, which if team are me, we gonna get? <laughs> if it was me, I would tank for a good quarterback. Would a tank, would the Falcons draw a quarterback? I don't think they're gonna. Well, I mean, we're not spending on no quarterback. Yeah. We're definitely drafting you, a defensive end if first. You need, if you need new coach, you have this quarterback time, I'm thinking, in Atlanta. After today's game, watching it, we really need a D end. We really need, we need, we need a on a D end. I don't know why you guys get rid of guys that defensive end. You guys, you guys had a defensive end. You guys got rid of them. Uh, what? Who? 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 Dante Fowler been battling with an injury. I think he played for the Browns now, or the Bengals, somebody like that. <laughs> Defensive oh. end. I think oh. he was. He was. It was the one that first round draft pick. Oh, 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 oh get, man, nah, oh, man. Oh, I already right, know what you're talking about. Oh, you. Oh, oh. Heck, no. Tweet, tweet. What? what? <laughs> well, he was first when he first started, right? He was good at first. At first. At, what happened you that's, a, that's a slim at first, though. Hey, that was, uh, what, do you, what, what do you think what happened to it? What do you think happened to these players? Don't perform. What do you think happened to these, to these players? You they, it's that? accountability. They need to be, you know, like one thing here. You know, our franchise, we let people slide too much. Yeah. yeah. It should have been that should have been nipped um, a long time ago with tech. A lot ready. of people just take our money and just leave with it. Same mm-hmm. thing with these coaches, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Is this Matt Mike? What's up, Matt? We don't say that name. We don't we don't talk about <laughs> Tweety Bird on here, okay? That's what we're not doing. We don't talk about Tweety Bird. Tweety Bird. <laughs> we want to watch Tooney Tunes. Yeah. But just to go, just to piggyback off his thing, like I said, Falcons, I don't really see them getting a quarterback in the first round only because you don't want to be put in a situation to where if you do see the way that this Falcon fan base is, if you draft the quarterback in the first round, they automatically won't be around after that. It did not be like, it did not be like what the Packers did and the Eagles did, draft a quarterback. Now, you got to realize this fan base ain't like that. The, the, like the Packers fan base was patient because Brett Favre, they had Brett Favre and they had a guy in the wing. This fan base is not patient at all. Like I said, they get if they get it if we get a Trevor Lawrence or a Justin Fields, they want to see him day one. They move on very quick. Mm-hmm. And if, if they still got Matt Ryan on, they want Matt Ryan bench, trade, or gone. What made they you, on what what made you guys be Falcons fans? You guys live in Atlanta? Yeah. Falcons, not Falcons. everyone that's not over. Everyone. everyone here, um, well, I don't know about ATM, but um, yes, I live in Atlanta. So that's I'm diehard. Win, lose, or draw. I've been a fan. I've cried through my through everything at the TV, tailgated and cried. You guys should have won the Super Bowl, though. No oh, lie. You, you don't you bring won. that up. No, don't bring that up. Oh, Sorry, that's, that's a bad word. Yeah. <laughs> Super Bowl is like kryptonite to us right now. <laughs> 
Yeah, we just yeah. trying to get one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Can we just man. get one up in you here? Had co- you had coach who never left you guys. He banded you guys. You know, he... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, though, man. Uh, you know, he, he should have kept... He left right after the Super Bowl. That's hey, hey, look, I about to say, Nathan, Nathan said the same thing I was saying. The same fans, if Trevor Lawrence or Justin Field doesn't produce, they'll be mad that they got rid of Matt Ryan. That's the, that's the same enjoy, point. Enjoy, right? enjoy Matt Ryan while he's here. Because mm-hmm. we're going to we because uh, just like K Styles said, if we if we get a quarterback first round, they they're quick to move on, and then everybody is on Trevor mm-hmm. Lawrence or Justin Fields or whoever the quarterback that we're gonna get. They they on that coattail. What, what then, team would take Matt Ryan though? Would it be any you, takers? You take said what? Matt Ryan? So who would take pre- Matt Ryan? I'm pretty yeah. sure it's ton of. I mean, I'm oh, pretty wait, wait. sure. Hey, I about to say, I about to say, I, I still got the cap numbers up here, ready right here. Um, there's a lot of money that's involved with that. Yeah, that's what like. That's yeah. be a, maybe the maybe the Patriots. Maybe the Patriots or 49ers. No, right? I, I see, I see them. Thinking. I see them probably drafting one. Mm-hmm. Those are the two teams I'm thinking. Yeah. Because hey J Rock, I was going. I was going to say that they still Go want. Ahead. They still want Vic. Who? Yeah, they want a Vic player. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they don't realize that those Vic type of players, those mobile quarterbacks that y'all like so much, that y'all praise so much in this league. Yeah, we get it. The you know the the game has changed, but those type of quarterbacks cost. Y'all really don't See? know. They cost. Look what happened to RG three. Look, look, look what happened to RG three. Look what happened. To yeah. Them. Back that's, what I'm saying. that's that's what I'm saying. Everybody's so sold on these, you know, QBs coming up out, you know, you know, but I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't put, I don't put a, 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 a price tag on somebody's head until I see what they're going to do, because it can go anyway. How about, at this Lamar, point. How about, how about Lamar Jackson? The, the book is out on him. Like I said, they, they found out he can't really throw the ball with him. Exactly, but we I think we all noticed that anyway. Look at the playoff the first playoff game that he had. Couldn't really throw. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all though. That offensive coordinator, all he's really calling is QB draws. Like when they played the Steelers with even with Rob Griffin the third, they was calling the QB draw on third to ten. So yeah, Lamar can't throw, but you gotta look at that offensive coordinator too. They ain't really calling good plays like that. No, nah, that's that that the offense offense is basically it is basically a, a, a power a quarterback power read offense. Right. Right. Yeah. So I heard Rob Griffin the third. Well, I, I'll take that back. Lamar Jackson, like you said, if you looked at them last couple playoff games that he had, if you looked at the defenses that they played, they basically put a bunch of corners and safeties out there and said, We got the wow. athletes that run with you. Now, can you out throw us? Yeah. And even yeah. this season, he's shown that he can't. He cannot hit all nine routes. So, okay. yeah, a, a mobile quarterback is nice to have as far as the novelty of it. But if that mobile quarterback cannot hit all nine routes mm-hmm. consecutively, consistently, and on time, like you said, you just basically just got a running back playing back. I'm a Georgia Tech fan, so I, I so with Paul Johnson, we was used to having running backs and wide receivers playing quarterback. For about okay. 10 let's get back. Uh, let's get back to the Falcons and Bucks we had this week. Yeah, I heard that the Bucks. I heard that, I heard that the Bucks getting don't do good. I heard Ba. I heard rumors he might get fired. And if he can't take Tom Brady far. Tom, mm. You know, the funny thing is, I really don't even, you know, of course, I mean, I watch it all, but I really haven't even heard that part about that. But, of course, you're a diehard uh, Bucks fan, so um, yeah. it's been it's been all, you know, dirt cut of this, dirt cut of that. But, you know, like kind of what Jay rock said, it's kind of – it's everybody kind of, you know. Hot seats. Yeah, definitely. It's kind of, you know, head starting to roll on a lot of these teams. But, people – we didn't want to be on too, too long, so this is your last call. If you want to get your piece in, please join the link. Last call for it. We're closing it up. If Don't not, be shy. Don't be shy. Don't Come be on. shy. I'll drop that link one more time. 
And can I just say this real quick for all you Falcons fans that that want Lewis Riddick? He's never been a GM. He's been a pro uh, director of pro personnel, and that only deals with free agency. That doesn't deal with the draft. All he's ever done was put the the Eagles' dream team together. Hey, if man, it's Mike anybody, that, yep. If it's anybody we need at GM, it's John Dorsey. This man drafted Chubb, Marcus Peters, Tyreek Hill, Patrick Mahomes, Demarcus Robinson. That's what we really need at GM, in my personal opinion. Yeah, the Falcons don't sign up big free agents, big names. That's you guys. You guys don't spend money in free agency. What is Mark Five Hundred Four talking about? Can somebody please? Uh, what is he talking about? Falcons trying to take two people from the. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, what are you talking? I think oh, he's talking yeah, about that talent evaluator for um, yeah. If you're GM, talking about yeah, for the DM, no, no, he's just yes. interviewing. We're not trying to take anybody. We don't Everybody. want nobody from your organization at the all involved in that Catholic Church scandal. Oh, 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 oh. 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 you see, probably somebody else said it. I didn't say it this time. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> but but Have you been I can say it. from draft. Yeah, yeah, they, they, and y'all were involved in it too, and tried to hide it. You so talking about ain't winning nothing for a while? You talking about trying to pay money to, to hide it? Yeah, I heard uh, it? Of course, yeah. <laughs> Man, Saints yeah. should never won their Super Bowl. The bounty. Whatever game. I love Atlanta sports podcast. We need Joe. That was a sports jab, game. and I'm not even a Saints yeah. fan. That was a big jab. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Y'all go ahead and subscribe to his channel as well. But what do y'all think about that? I'm about to say, I, I think I might have the paperwork on that too. Now I got the on that. <laughs> Hey, you can find it on Sports Illustrated and even on ESPN.com, K Styles. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. I know where I seen it from. But mm-hmm. we can't put that in, we look, we can't put that energy towards them. We gotta keep going with what we got here. Hey, he said everybody duck. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, have you been following the NFL mock draft lately? You talk, have you been following the NFL mock draft? Um, I've seen the top to what the I haven't really been paying attention too much. I mean, I know no, some I people, but I don't. I, I haven't been really paying attention. I I usually don't look until like until the season is like completely over. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mark ain't coming on the stream. Come on, Mark. You ain't got nothing to say. Like that's your biggest fan, Miss Maggie. I oh, know yeah. it is, and he still ain't showed his face. He he mad about stuff. Discord, <laughs> we don't talk from the Discord because he just don't know how to be quiet. You know, we try to give other fans a chance, but that's probably what he mad about. So he ain't here speaking of Discord, make sure y'all join the Discord, the Falcon Discord, <laughs> for y'all football <laughs> fans or just a fan of us. Come and join. <laughs> Saints don't have anything mm. to do with that. Well, <laughs> technically they did because the owners were the ones that covered it up. So exactly yep, the Saints. Exactly. Yep. ESPN.com. Yep. All right there. About that too. And all I'm gonna say is this Drew Brees spoke out uh, against the Black Lives Matter. Now look what happened. I'm just saying. Oh man, he piling up the money. He piling it up, Mr. ATM. He piling it up. What's crazy? That boy got the money. He got the blue hundred on y'all. Drew Brees, he get fined. Look at this. Drew Brees stood at the play. He didn't get no penalty. He didn't get fined. It's crazy. Mm. You're right, you guys. I like this. um... Look look at this. If it was somebody else, they would get fined. You know what I mean? If it was a white person, they would would get fined. But, you know. You know what I mean? If it was a black person did it, they would have got fined. But if a white person did it, it's okay, I guess. But it's not. Exactly. <laughs> Mark, whatever, Mark. Ooh, but, hey, know. yo, he having a fit in the chat. Y'all see this? I think he, I think ATM mm-hmm. brought that Catholic church candle and kind of. Boy, that <laughs> hurt, boy. <laughs> that <laughs> Mm-hmm. AK Styles, you might want to bring up that legal paperwork from that Rams game again. Oh, 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 mm-hmm. hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. God damn it! Oh, I, I, I deleted that. Hey, you didn't even got him started. God damn it! We're gonna, uh, 
Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Yeah, the thing is, I ain't gonna bring them no more energy because we ain't gotta deal with them until the off season. So mm -hmm. like, I got that stored away somewhere. So we're gonna bring that back out later. Like, like I said, this ain't the time for it right now. We about to end the show. I'm talking about they had posters and everything down here in Atlanta. Oh, you didn't see the GoFundMe pages too. <laughs> yeah, GoFundMe pages. Like I said, they 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 were they were burning up dogs representing referees, and I, they had male they they had male dance teams doing twenty eight to three formations at halftime and shit. So it was like, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff they did. But I appreciate y'all for letting me get on. Y'all have a good day, man. Uh, we appreciate you for tapping in again, man. <laughs> hey, <laughs> appreciate you. Um, we had one more person down here, I see, but I think he's having some connections issues. But of course, we didn't really want to go too much longer tonight. I basically was going to say just do this for an hour. But I know we was kind of running up against the post game show, so you guys kind of piled in kind of late. Uh, maybe we'll push it out a little later. I was hoping that, um, you know, the other show would have ended a little earlier. But, hey, it is what it is. We appreciate you guys. It's kind of the wrap-up. I see somebody was trying to get on, but I think he's having some connection issues. Oh, but that's fine. That's fine. Um, basically, you guys, what do y'all think? Next game, win, loss, draw. <laughs> Going against Brady. Um, we at home or we in Tampa? I want to look that up. Where we at? I don't, give, I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> All I know is I might go through a whole 12 pack looking at the game. You got to go through a 12 pack, or I might just need two of them. Um, okay. Person, I see what you um, did there. Hey, um, Sinclair, um, you're having some connection issues. I would love to bring you on, but you know, tune in next week. Uh, we'll be doing this every single week. So, um, sometimes if you're on your Wi-Fi and things like that, it can throw your connection off. So, like, I can't even add you to the stream without your internet and everything, you know, everything connected. So, it's telling me that you're unable to connect. So, thank you. Um, you know, next time, next time, next time, everybody. But um, we okay, are at, we're at home. home. Thank you. Okay. Because I've been so focused on this game, I didn't even look at the rest of the season, you know. So, but on that note, this is the wrap up. Um, we're doing this every, I don't know, I guess Sundays, sometime Monday. We're not set on what day we want to do our after shows, but um, we're opening, we always open this up to our fans. Um, Falcons just, yeah, they make me nervous as well. It, it, you know, I, I, I don't know how to feel anymore at this point. Um, you know, so appreciate everybody that has joined us tonight. I know it's pretty late. I know everybody got to get up and go to work in the morning and, you know, take your L's and eat your crow. We'll be doing that Tuesday night at 8 o'clock um, with the heavy hitters. I know they're going to be eating some crow um, as well as ATL and Sports Zone Wednesday night, same time, 8 p.m. Um, you can catch us on Fridays for film study. You know, that was fun. That was definitely fun as well as um, we always have our morning show Saturday mornings with um, the Red Clay Sports Show. Um, that's 11 a.m. So it's like we got everything for everybody, including Sundays. We got the post game, and now we have the after show. So look, you know, along with content and everything that's posted, you know, tell us, you know, what else you want to hear from us. You know, tell us, you know, if you're enjoying what we bring to you guys, what can we do to make it better? You know, like we're always taking criticism and things like that. But look, AFN right now is for the fans. We don't feel like our franchise or the people that represent us are doing enough for our fans. So this is the purpose of AFN. We are here for you guys. We want you guys to be heard. Maybe the right people will take notice and realize that's why um, a lot of players we've had, if you go back into our um, archives, we have some player interviews and each one of them basically just appreciated a place where they can kick back and just really, sometimes you got to take the politics and you got to take, you know, you got to take that out of the game. Sometimes they just want to kick back and talk about football. So, you know, you know, when you go on other shows, it's like they're on a car and they got to get, they got to say and get it out. This is for you guys. Get your voice out there. Get people to understand how we feel. We're hurt. We are hurt, and we've been hurt for many of years, you know? Um, 
I'm tired and I'm tired. I mean, I'm exhausted at this point. So if we don't see some changes made, it's going to be a, a extremely upset fan base. I can tell you that I could speak for everyone. And that's all I'm going to say on that. What's up? Uh, anybody else want to um, add anything before we close it out? Well, like I said, I about say I appreciate y'all letting me come on with y'all after the um after the post game show. Ooh, um, that post game was hot. <laughs> hey, I will I will say one thing. If if you guys are a fan of the Friday night, you know, film study, oh boy, if y'all like what y'all saw after the game, the the, the earlier show, wait. Tune in Friday. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be interesting. Trust me. Oh, exactly. it's gonna be interesting. We got, we got. I'm sure we got Coach Low popping on, and then you know everybody else is gonna be on. But mm-hmm. if, if y'all like that little that little chipper in earlier, going at it. Tune in Friday. It's film study. That's what I'm saying. We 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 you know we are unbiased opinions. So everybody has their own say here. It's not a, you know, we're not gonna sit here and agree with each other. If that was the case, mm-hmm. we wouldn't be here. Exactly. You know? So. Hey, appreciate y'all tuning in to that though. Yeah, but like I said, I like I said, like I said, Maggie J Rock, I like I said, I appreciate y'all letting me hop on here with y'all for a little bit. <laughs> I know y'all didn't need my ass in here, but like I said, I just want to show y'all some love. Hey, hey. That's what it's all about. Matt yeah. Mike. But, what's up? But like I said, at the same time, like I said, hey, let me know if y'all want another episode of just cutting it with K Styles. We get that popping. I don't, I don't know when they need more of that too. Mm-hmm. Everybody right. gonna eat. That's right. That <laughs> That's right. right. Like I said, Kevin, quit your shit. Bro, just mm-hmm. quit your shit. Why you always gotta act so damn humble? You get on my damn nerve with that shit. Man, look, 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 so goddamn look, look, humble. Look, look here. You get your ass up on here and talking. <laughs> Boy, you can get your ass on somewhere. Hey, I gotta, look, 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 I gotta be humble. I'm in last place in the goddamn subscribers compared to all that. Yeah, hey, I, I don't care for that neck, K Styles. I did come for that neck. I'm moving on up. <laughs> I'm, trying, hey, I'm just trying to hey, get to 100. Hey, hey, look, hey, hey, look, 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 think about it. Ain't nobody coming to see me. Shit. <laughs> Yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. Thank you. Thank you for loving the show, Mark 504 C, as I'm saying. There you go. But, all right, guys, until the night. Matt, Mike, did you have something to add? We're going to go ahead and end this no, one. I'm, on I'm good. I'm good. Y'all did. I'm good. I'm, yeah, I'm good. Y'all good. I'm good. Y'all good. That's, that's how we're going to end it. Hey, look, I tell Mark 504, he keep talking about my hairline. That's Funny from somebody that ain't got a picture on there so anybody can see that. <laughs> At least he's willing to pop on camera. Exactly. You know my hairline look like this because my camera's facing up, not downward. So <laughs> get it right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How about them safe today, Mark? Ooh. Yeah, exactly. Let's talk hey, about that. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Hold Uh-oh. on. Did Sit they even there. score? Did they even score? Did they score one point? Did they even score one point? I don't think. I don't. I don't remember. I don't. Thank I don't. you. Uh, no, they did score one time. They scored one time. They they won. They scored one time. Yeah, they scored one time. Oh, I got a little subscriber. Yeah, look at me. See if I'm at a hundred yet. Yeah, for those that popped on uh, ATM. Oh, All you guys, I am at 100 subscribers. Appreciate Yay. you guys for tuning in. Miss mm-hmm. Maggie T is at 100 subscribers. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. It's Miss Maggie T, MS Maggie T. If y'all want to go over there, seriously, I get on there and talk about Hawks, um, Braves, um, Atlanta Falcons news as well. So I'm just trying to give y'all a little variety. I know it's other people out there, but hey, why not hear what Maggie T has to say on the subject? And we had a preseason game tonight that we won. Actually, so hey, I'm happy to have some Hawks basketball back on the screen. It's been a while, long time coming. But on that note, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, Mark, yeah, yeah, you humble now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. But, but before you end it up, I want y'all to see this. I got on the screen. Hold on, I'm finna, I'm finna show it right quick. You know, it ain't no live show without K Style showing something. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Here go, look, look, here go Mark 504 right here. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's somebody's hairline. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
He's an Afro hound chihuahua. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. yeah. We're going to end it on that note. Yeah, we're going to end it on that note. I got to get it. All, right. All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all tuning in to both shows. Um, I know y'all was coming in after the fact, but hey, appreciate y'all tuning in to us each and every week. We appreciate you. Yeah, Mark. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what you get. All right. <laughs> on that note, this is Atlanta Falcons Nation, and we are out. We are the nation. <laughs>